Hey guys, Coach Galloway here. I'm gonna show you how to put your stickers on your Ripley helmet for the 2020 summer season. This is what the end product's gonna look like. <clears throat> and we're gonna walk you through getting the stickers on just the shell of it, not on the chin right here. Alrighty, so first you're gonna start with the easiest sticker to put on is gonna be this Rip It one, just right across the back. You can take off a PLL sign if you want to, uh, or you can just cover it up. It makes no difference. All right, second, you take off your chin strap right off the rip. It's gonna make it easier <clears throat> to string, or to um, put the stickers on. All righty, next up, you're gonna take this, the Mohawk. Gonna put that on there. This back piece right here is gonna go on the back part of your helmet. So first you're gonna line that up. All right, now whenever you're doing this, if the stickers get a little, you know, if they start sticking to somewhere first, that's all right. They're very, uh, very durable and they'll re-stick easily. All right, so you're gonna get that planted. And it's important that it's done correctly across the back at that 90 degree, that it's, uh, I guess, parallel or, perp or uh, perpendicular to the, parallel to the backside right there, so that this, this one just flops on like that. Now, if it doesn't, you're just gonna have to guide it down that edge a little bit like that. After you're done, you can always smooth it out. If you have a credit card, it's a great thing to do. Take a credit card and run it along this, uh, the stickers and I'll get the bubbles out. But going like this, making sure that you stick on the, uh, make sure you don't like let the front side get stuck before you get the middle down. And that'll create a huge bubble, which will lead to a wrinkle. All right, that is actually perfect right there. Um, Next up, we'll do the side right here. This one's probably the, the toughest stick because it doesn't have a whole lot of guy lines to go uh, to go by. I'm not sure what I mean by that. All righty. What I'm looking for right here is I'm looking at this front part of the R. I'm sorry, the back part of the R, and it's got to be pretty much half and half over these two pieces right here. Uh, this front part is going to go right there. So it's kind of just timing it up. This split right here in a perfect world will come, will be broken by this uh, ridge. Uh, you're gonna go along this line and this line as your guidelines. And as long as that, you follow that, it should look good. So sometimes it takes, again, you have to pop it off sometimes if it's, uh, if you mess up, but I'm gonna try and follow this line right here. Alrighty, I'm gonna follow it down. That's looking all right. I see right there I left about Maybe, I don't know, half a centimeter at the top. I'm not thrilled about that. So I'm just gonna pop it. Try it again. See how the top lines up. Still lining up pretty crummy. There we go. Yeah. This is better. Uh, if this wasn't a tutorial, I'd probably do it again. All right, again, you're gonna to wanna to iron that out. And this will go right across the top here, across that top ridge, and this one will go across the bottom ridge. And then you got those air bubbles. You can work them out with your finger or you can work them out with a uh, credit card. Credit card works better. Pop that sticker on there. Boom. That's the top part. Oh gosh, gotta tighten it up a little bit. There you go. Now everything uh, is made by Zima gear. So it is uh, fit, customly built for this helmet. Right here, we're gonna grab this sticker and it's gonna go right in this little nook right here. Uh, actually, this one's actually gonna go in this little. Uh, you know what? I'm on the wrong side. Um, I grabbed the wrong sticker. Gonna grab this sticker. This one's gonna come in that nook right there. Okay, if you know you grab the wrong one if it doesn't fit, right? Like these, again, Zima Gear has cut these to perfectly fit the uh, Cascade S. So if it's not gonna, if it doesn't fit, you know, if it's not lining up in the uh, spot it's going, then it's probably not the right sticker for it. All right, that's the side it's gonna look like right there. Uh, oh, to finish this side up, we'll grab a, uh, one of these light blue ones. 
And this one you're gonna try and weave. There's a little gap underneath this orange. Right there, you can get your finger underneath it. And the, the idea is to try to, you know, snug this up and ultimately have it sit almost underneath it. Cause you don't want it to be laying over the uh, edge. So right there, that's pretty perfect right there. But sometimes this piece will lay over that edge. You don't want to do that. It's going to get dirty and it'll get dust and uh, air underneath it. And ultimately it'll separate as well. All right, backside. I'm going to flip my guide helmet here. And I'm going to pop off the big R. All righty. And this circle is going to go right around there. So you just kind of want to eye, you want to eye this. Get that circle to go around it and as you're doing that looking at that r on the top so that it follows that edge like right there that looks like it's pretty perfect and then just line it down and if you if you if this comes down first and it creates that bubble just pop it right back up these stickers are super super durable to the point where you can pull them off put them back on a few times in this uh uh stickering phase obviously once these are on you're not going to take them off um all right there it is yep, the little piece that i accidentally pulled off earlier is gonna go right here like that and then we're looking for the little swoosh which is right here this little guy is gonna come down here and it's gonna fit right behind that black piece i'm sorry and the black piece and the uh on the white right there behind that white ridge it's gonna follow that arch and actually i forgot the other sides so i'll go back and do that one right now flip it and same thing it's gonna follow right behind that black piece kind of hug in a little bit okay and if it's not perfect that's all right because when you look at it from a distance or even up close you won't be able to tell um if you're not perfectly online um and then you got your little your little blue piece again same thing you want to try and snug it in there that see and i left mine i have a little bit of an overhang here i'm gonna redo that because like i said that overhang will let dirt and water get underneath it and it's gonna uh it's gonna make it so that it doesn't stick forever it doesn't stay up that long sometimes you can put it on there and have it stick to the actual orange and then run a fingernail along it just like that, and it'll pop it underneath it. And the last little piece is the top of the R. And again, that R fits perfectly in that space. See how that it, everything with these ridges on the helmet um, go with it. And that's how you get the, uh, the new stickers on the shell of the uh, Cascade S. Good luck.